the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn how to create a login design in Visual Studio Blend. So without any further ado, let's get started. So let's start by creating a new project. And then selecting a WPF app and filling out its project properties. Once you are done with the properties, let's click on the create button. Now let's select the window and change its properties. Let's allow tra transparency and resize mode to no resize. Now let's select, uh, before we do that, let's go and change the background color to a light gray. Let's zoom in. Now let's create a rectangle and draw it on the center screen. Now let's place it at the bottom and then round the corners. Okay. Let's change the stroke to a gradient. And the fill to a solid white. Now let's create a text block on top of the rectangle and type in the text. Here we are creating a design for the dribble account. So I am typing welcome to dribble. Let's change the font size and uh, align it to the center. Now let's create one more rectangle on top of the white rectangle and change its radius. And let's adjust the radius of the first rectangle as well. Let's go to the radius X and Y and change it to 8 and similarly for the gray rectangle. Now let's add text on top of the uh, gray rectangle. So select a text block and type in your text. Let's change the foreground color to light gray. And just duplicate the existing text block and enter the other text. Now this text will help us uh, during the animation to trigger the animation. Let's change the font font width to bold and align it to the center. Now let's add a rectangle again and this will act as a background to the text box and change the fill to a light gray and duplicate it by holding the alt key and dragging the control now let's select a text box and draw on top of the rectangle and change its height to 30 and 30 pixels and align it now let's change its background before doing that let's just duplicate it and uh, change its background to no background brush to no bra background and the selection brush also to a no background okay and let's align the vertical content alignment to center and change the text okay now let's add a button change its fill to pink flamingo pink okay and then change the button content to 
sign in let's change the foreground to white and font size to 16 okay so next we shall add a text block below the sign in button just copy the existing text block and change its text to forgot password and change the foreground to a dark gray and align it to center okay let's run this application once okay looks good now let's start designing the sign up ui so to do that let's uh, copy the uh, gray rectangle and paste it on top and drag it okay and let's start adding the text boxes Before that let's uh, arrange uh, some of the elements and move them and then drag back the uh, grey rectangle. Let's copy and paste the forgot text box uh, te uh, text block and change the text to not a member. If not a member then sign up. Oh, I'm sorry the text should be already a member then sign in okay now let's copy the existing rectangles and the text blocks and just paste them on the grid Let's move them on the top and change a couple of properties. starters just let's start with uh, changing its fill okay let's go to the fill and change it to a dark a lighter shade of gray and the text box foreground property to white Let's also change the text inside the text box. Okay. Let's copy the text box and the rectangles and duplicate them and change the text in it. let's add a button similar to the sign up button and change the text to create account okay let's resize the gray text uh, gray rectangle and move it down and the rest of the controls Now let's group the controls and rename them and the rest of the controls to sign in. Okay. Now 
let's start up with the first animation so let's select the sign up controls all of the sign up controls and change the visibility to hidden and then let's build once and now let's add a storyboard and expand the timeline and first on the first keyframe let's uh, change the radius of the gray rectangle and increase the size on the second keyframe and select the rest of the sign in controls and hide them on the first keyframe and on the second keyframe select all the sign up controls and make them visible okay let's build the application once and then let's select the text block that will trigger this animation so select the text block and then go to the triggers and change the window from text block 1 and uh, the trigger to mouse down so there you go guys we have the animation ready now let's trigger the second animation so for that let's do some UI changes so let's add a rectangle to the grid expand it to the size of the window and add some images on top of it and and there's one more image to be added place place both of them on in the center of the rectangle and to begin let's hide both the added images before that let's uh, yeah, go to the visibility and make it hidden now let's resize the rectangle and make the visibility to hidden now let's add one more storyboard and select the rectangle and on the first frame make the visibility to visible and on the second frame enlarge the rectangle to the window width and also the two images make them visible okay. and let's trigger this animation on button sign in click so there you go guys our application is ready thanks for watching do like share and subscribe to my channel thank you